Welcome to Let's Rap. Oh, we have a great show today. I am talking about something that I need, that we all need, and that we all want. And it's a one letter word. It says peace. Mm. That's it. No more, no less. <laughs> peace. Uh, if anything, this the peace of God um, that we all want, seek, and should desire. Mm -hmm. uh, there's nothing like peace in this world. Uh, but it's also nothing like having peace. Mm -hmm. You know, in the midst of a storm, a situation, peace is just that. Mm -hmm. You know, when you can just have peace, like true peace, God-given yeah. peace, yeah. Mm -hmm. even in the midst of what's going on, peace. So we're going to talk about peace today. And so let's wrap, ladies. So mm -hmm. what's up? Ebony, Lisa, what's yes. going on? Y'all good? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just um, that peace is one of those things, kind of like time, yeah. invaluable. Yes. Like you can't put... A dollar amount on it because it just maximizes your life in such a way that it's invaluable yeah. you know so it's it's worth doing whatever you can to get your to peace get it, it really it. is That's it. Yep. I remember when I was very young Mount Zion and um, my pastor at the time his uh, song was peace be still mm -hmm. and I didn't understand so much of it. Absolutely. Until, I mean, I wasn't real old, but it was like in middle school, mm -hmm. and different things would come up, and I said, okay, God, just give me peace. Make it all right with my heart. Mm -hmm. Make it all right. Mm -hmm. Give me peace, God. And then it'd be like, oh. It's because it's not, it ain't on me no more. Yeah. I gave it to God. Mm -hmm. And I asked him to make it all right, and I get peace with it, and then you can just Keep it moving then, mm -hmm. yeah. once you get peace. And peace is really releasing something, like wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, cast your cares on him, because he mm -hmm. cares for you. That means everything. Oh. Let it go, mm -hmm. not a piece of it. Like, I'm gonna hold on to this, because I got this, Correct. but I need you to hold on to everything. No, it's giving it all to mm -hmm. him. Yes. So I want to share a couple scriptures when we talk about peace. So the first one is one we talk about all the time. This is one of my favorite ones, and I think it's become your favorite if it's <laughs> not already. Don't worry about anything. Uh, Instead, four, six. <laughs> pray about everything. Mm -hmm. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the New Living Translation, but it's Philippians 4 and 6. And I you didn't know. News? I didn't have the good news good on news, this one. I can tell you what it says. Don't <laughs> what it worry say? about anything. Don't worry about mm -hmm. anything. That's yeah. it. That's it. Yeah. In mm -hmm. all things, give thanks. Yeah. And so with this one, I think it's important because a lot of times we need the word to like put that, you know, to go ahead and put it on there. Sometimes we think, okay, yeah, we know God's good, but sometimes you need a scripture to just show mm -hmm. that. And this is one of those scriptures that say, look, man, I'm telling you, don't worry about yeah. nothing, mm -hmm. anything. Uh, it, instead, pray about everything. Mm -hmm. Tell God what you need. And thank him for now, all he's done. Now. So that means it's already done. Mm -hmm. And then you can go on and we say in the word that for we know all things work together for the good of those who love him and who mm -hmm. are called according to his purpose. So don't worry about nothing. Ever had happened. Don't worry it's about nothing. And the older I get, the more that I need those biblical principles come on, come on. to back it up. Mm -hmm. and it's just like, you know, um, I heard a sermon um, at the prayer conference two years ago, three years ago. And she talked about sometimes you just got to text God. Now, and we was like, what is she talking what about? Talking. I didn't know what she was taking at. She said, no, you got to put some text on it. Mm -hmm. And when I'm saying that, I'm talking about the text of the word. Mm -hmm. This thing says don't worry about anything, mm -hmm. nothing, <laughs> and pray about everything. Now. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that's telling you, that's those two, right there. Don't worry about any. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I could just stuck on that one, that but we're going to move on. But that time. is one of my favorite scriptures mm -hmm. of and all I times. And too, you know, after the brain injury and stuff, my memory's bad. But but he ain't got to tell me don't worry about it because I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to be upset about something. Wasn't but, I mad at you? Oh, nope. it's okay. We good. Because I don't remember. I ain't worried about anyway. it now. Thank you, Jesus. So when it comes to peace, um, another thing, and the reason why, that scripture is so important, and it's the first one to come up when you search anything about peace in the Word. That was the first scripture that came up. Because a lot of times what keeps us from having peace is that opposite, mm -hmm. not giving everything to God. Correct. Now, Correct. Worrying about everything mm -hmm. and not praying about mm -hmm. nothing. Come on. And that's usually mm -hmm. what happens. Yeah. So we Go do the opposite of that scripture. 
Yes. I mean, I have learned, I know when I was growing up, the first thing I would do if something happened, I would call somebody close to me. Mm -hmm. Call my friend, I call one of my sisters, or my mother, or whatever, and I'm crying, <laughs> whatever. And I have not talked to the one who mm -hmm. can do something about Damn. it. Mm -hmm. Why do we do that? But I think it's just a natural emotions that we want to share, share mm -hmm. and we want to discuss mm -hmm. and we want to talk. But I have learned the older that I've, that I've gotten and become, I'll be 45 in December. I know that God is in control mm -hmm. yes, and I know he he's here. I'm here because of him. Mm -hmm. And I know he's the only reason why I'm here because I learned when I was sick that I had to pray about everything. Because I didn't know, I, was, I thought I was out of here. Mm -hmm. So. I had to give it to him. But then you say, talking to everybody else, sometimes God will put it on your heart to say something, and you'll get confirmation. Absolutely. And they may know something that would totally... And, and to help right. you, and to witness, and that is the opposite. But then it's, it's when you know. I think it's in your heart when it you is, know when to is. share, and, and you know who to share with. Because mm -hmm. yeah. everybody is not you ill. Can. You can't... Mm -hmm. Everybody's yeah. not with you, and then some people are with you. Mm -hmm. So I know with this group, with you ladies, I can bring up anything. Mm -hmm. Ebony, this is bothering me. Lisa, mm -hmm. this is bothering me. I've done it many times. Mm -hmm. Pray for me. I got to do right. this, this, right. and this. Right. Right. You know, because you have your circle. You have mm -hmm. your trusted people. But what I'm talking about is when something's going wrong and you just start telling everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, just like oh, Pastor yeah. said plenty of times, everybody don't want to see you in. Mm -hmm. That's so true. sometimes when you start telling everybody that you don't know they're cheering, mm -hmm. they're happy that you're not winning. So, you know, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. everything. So if mm -hmm. you remember that, if you don't get anything else mm -hmm. today, Philippians get four, that one, six. four mm -hmm. and six, absolutely. So another one is giving all your worries and cares to God for he cares about you. Mm -hmm. That's first Peter five and seven. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's a good one. Is that the cast your cares? Yeah, well, another yeah, it's another translation. Okay. It's, this is New Living Translation, okay, but, so it's another but you're one. you're saying give it, give it to God. Cares. Cast yes. your cares yes. to him. Like give it off for because he cares for you. Mm -hmm. Because he cares for you. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, and a lot of times in church, and I know sometimes people need relics, they need stuff, whatever. Mm -hmm. So the altar is important. Okay. Okay. So I know a lot of times when I'm in church, if something's bothering me in prayer and in the spirit, I'm going to leave that thing right there on that altar okay. and just trust that he's going to take care of it and he's mm -hmm. going he's gonna to make it work. Okay. So another thing that can help you, it's not a scripture, but another thing we kind of talked about in one of the other shows is in order to have peace, you have to set healthy boundaries mm -hmm. with your friends, your family, your work, your job, whoever. You have to learn how to set healthy boundaries for peace. Because believe it or not, peace is internal and external. Mm -hmm. And to have peace, you got to have peace around what's going on and what's going on inside. Yeah. So you have to set those boundaries. You know, sometimes people put their stuff on you. Mm -hmm. They give you their problems. You pick them up. You take them. And you got to learn how to pray them things and leave them right there. And let people know so that nobody's thinking, oh, I'm being rude, I'm being mean, no. I'm being this, or anything like that. If people love you, they should be able to understand, I love you. Yeah. I just can't right now. Right. I, just, I don't have the, I don't have the I don't capacity, have the, the capacity yeah. right like now to that. do that. Like yeah. that. I'll, I'll be in touch with you, and we can talk at, a, at another time, but right now, I can't. Yep. And that's But that's I don't something. mind praying for you I don't right mind, now. yeah. Mm -hmm. But we as Christians, we get that so backwards that we think we have to carry everybody's burdens. Yeah, you know, we bear one another's burdens, mm -hmm. but that's through prayer, concern. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm there for Assistance. you if you need something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I ain't trying to carry that too. I already got this mm -hmm. luggage over here. I can't carry yours too. Okay. It's not gonna okay. work. So it's just knowing your boundaries and, and setting And I can them. help you to adjust how you're carrying Absolutely. things. We can even strategize in that way, but like you said, carrying other people's burden and let people place things on you that otherwise are not on your plate um is you can't do that and no want to peace. no thank you <laughs> absolutely not yeah, so so another one is we talked about understanding that no is a complete sentence mm -hmm. now that's peaceful which goes that's with it, the boundaries it does mm -hmm. which goes with boundaries and, and that's why i said that with you had it. to do that a whole lot in uh law school and everything that you oh with law school, you just fall off the face of the earth, yeah, you know, because you, you just don't yeah. have time. And some people do not understand, um, my mother being one of them, 
<laughs> boundaries. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Because now, if I don't answer, yeah. I have an attitude, I, something's wrong with me, and now when I call you back, you don't answer. Because mamas, right? Right. But after a while, you get you used get to yeah. it, you learn, you learn it, and people learn. Because you, if you say, a boundary, I learned this on TikTok, I think. They said a boundary is not for other people. It's for you. Oh, a boundary is for up. you. Absolutely. Gosh, so whether they can handle you. your boundary or not, that's that not that's not yeah. for you to not your decipher. Business. Yeah. It's for you. Yeah. So I set a boundary and I set nice. a reasonable boundary and yeah. I set my own boundary. So my mama just adjusted, yeah. you know, and that's just what it was. But, but yeah. most people will adjust if Correct. you set those boundaries Correct. and mm -hmm. you set them in a way, look, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. This is what I can do. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm going to do. And this is all I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So either you're going to meet me halfway or we just ain't going to meet. I see you on the other side. I, I don't. Absolutely. <laughs> ain't going to get done. Wow. Uh, so another one, I know this is one of the ones that you like, but this is a different version. It said, finally, brothers, whatever is true, Whatever is honorable, mm -hmm. whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Mm -hmm. wow. And that's mm -hmm. Philippians 4 and 8. Yeah. Um, when I say peace, stop focusing on stuff you can't control. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, just stop it. Okay, a lot of times when... You know, just letting go of negative people, mm -hmm. letting go of negative things. You know, a lot of times I use the analogy, control, out, delete. You know how you do in your computer, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, at work. And when you hit control, out, delete, you do that and you're resetting or you're locking the computer. Oh, then you're going to walk yeah. away so people Very can't get damn. into it. So we do that several times a day when we walk away from our mm -hmm. desk. Why don't we do it with our lives? Mm -hmm. And do it as many times as you need to because we forget about what the control, out, delete means. So, me thinks, in my mind, control is control what you can handle. Mm -hmm. okay. Control yourself, because you can control yourself. Mm -hmm. You can handle yourself. Control your, how you respond, how you react, all of that. Control mm -hmm. you. That's the control. Alt, sometimes you got to use alternate thinking. Mm -hmm. You got to do alternate methods. Okay. You got to change some things. So, you got to go alternate route. Mm -hmm. So, that's alt. And then delete, pow, this is the boom right here. Delete anything that is not serving you, mm -hmm. anything that's hurting you, anything that's not helping you, anything that's not making you better than you were before. Delete that thing and move on. Mm -hmm. And even some people, you know, I'm not right. one for throwing away people. I've never been that way. But if you see somebody is not serving you and they're not helping you and they constantly take it and helping. you feel horrible mm -hmm. when you're around them mm -hmm. and you feel like energy is leaving you, mm -hmm. When you're with them all the time and nothing is ever replaced, you need to delete that. Mm -hmm. That's not good for you, sis. No, <laughs> you said Bruh. sis. My That's God not good says, for you. I pray she, yeah, she going to see this episode. Because being a beautician, <laughs> it's certain ones. They coming on Saturday, Tuesday. She's like, oh, I got to get my heart and mind ready, ready for, right. this. for this one coming. Mm -hmm. No. It's too much. Mm -hmm. It's too much. It's too much. And then yeah. she feels bad. No. No, you can't. they mm -hmm. You have, to, <laughs> you have to learn how to choose you. Wow. And there is nothing mm -hmm. wrong with choosing you. Wow. Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. um, another one, be grateful for what you have and let the peace. So basically, just be grateful for what you have. So that was the point I wrote first. I just wrote them close together. And so the scripture is, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful. That's Colossians 3 and 15. So... What they're saying is, let the peace of Christ rule your heart. Mm -hmm. So that means stop letting stuff trip you up. Stop letting people mm -hmm. trip you up. Think on those things. You know how we said those are lovely, climb, mm -hmm. those things that make you feel good. Think on those things. And that's Christ. Yeah. And we have to learn how to change our focus. Mm -hmm. We have to learn how to change our focus. Uh, I want to share something that Tim Finley put on Facebook. Pastor Tim, Tim Finley, Reverend Tim Finley Jr. wrote this on Facebook, and he said, choose peace, promote peace, protect peace, don't just keep the peace, make the peace, mm -hmm. and be a peacemaker. As much as possible, follow peace with all people. Mm -hmm. and, and then he said, then determine 
to take the peace into 2023. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. It is. It's it up is. to you. Peace is intentional. Yeah. It's a practice. Mm -hmm. wow. You know, you can have peace if you really want mm -hmm. peace. Oh, yeah. And I like how he made the distinction between being a peacekeeper and a, and a peacemaker. peacemaker. It's two different because things. Because I don't necessarily consider myself a peacekeeper. Because if you want it, I got it. Oh, <laughs> but Bless I God. do, I would like to think right. of myself as a peacemaker, peacemaker. someone yeah. who would, wants to live peaceably with others and mm -hmm. to add value and not add dissension yeah. in, the, in the relationships. Yeah. But I am definitely not a peacekeeper. I think um, keeping the peace is counterproductive in a lot it of ways. Is. Because keeping the peace is doing just that. I'm just gonna keep everybody happy. Yeah, but you can't do that all the time because a lot of times when you do that, you're taken away from yourself. Well, and it's not even a lot of times. It's how is impossible. it possible? It's impossible. How is it possible? Because you can give everybody a million dollars. Correct. And, and in this room, somebody's gonna have something absolutely. to say. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's probably gonna be it Jeff. Be me. It won't be me. But it's probably gonna be Jeff. Mm -hmm. But somebody's gonna have Correct. something to me. say <laughs> about the million dollars. Well, my million dollars, it was wrinkled. Ah, right, you gave it to my, me. You threw it at me. You gave it you know? in one. <laughs> so right. It's mm -hmm. always going to be something. You can never please everybody. But being a peacekeeper. It's trying to keep the peace. You're making a choice okay. mm -hmm. to be peaceful. Mm -hmm. And when something could spin you off, you deciding to, eh, is that really necessary? Mm -hmm. And it's the think method. Is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? So it's just running that everything that you're about to say through okay. the thank <laughs> acronym so. before you do it. Okay. You know, that's, that's just what it is. Being a peacekeeper, you know, is it really necessary to say what I want to say? Mm -hmm. Like I want to clap back, but is it necessary? Mm -hmm. So that's how you got to, that's being a peacekeeper. Oh, um, one of the things is I think with peace is stop expecting you from other people. Mm -hmm. Now, when I learned this, mm -hmm. this is what helped me with a lot of my friendships, relationships, and even my family ships. Mm -hmm. Because what I would do and how I would respond is not always how other people will. And mm -hmm. I learned in the process of life, I feel like I've gotten hurt a lot because I'm a lover. I mm -hmm. love hard. Mm -hmm. And when I call somebody my friend, mm -hmm. you're mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. It's mean. done. Mm -hmm. That means I'm going to the ends of the earth mm -hmm. for you because yeah. mm -hmm. we are good. You know, what you need, I got it. If mm -hmm. I got one, you, you got, got it. it. Mm -hmm. We're going to split it something right. we got it i give it. it to you swap mm -hmm. something I, I go hard for my friends mm -hmm. and if i call you that then that's what it is but what i had to learn was though i have that thought process Everybody it doesn't mean you don't love me less right. but it just means you have a different way of thinking mm -hmm. so i had to learn to stop expecting that same wow. that same behavior or the way i respond from other people mm -hmm. so stop expecting you from other people wow. That is so much it's peace that resonates in that. Yeah, that yeah that, that resonates mm -hmm. peace mm -hmm. in you. Think about it. How much time you spend? Somebody doesn't care about me like I care about them, mm -hmm. and it seems real petty, mm -hmm. but it can really trip you up if you really think about it. But I had to learn how to just refocus and say, you know what? Everybody ain't me. Mm -hmm. There is one dead car, and God mm -hmm. made me how I am. Mm -hmm. Not Thank saying you, I'm wrong. Thank you, Lord. I'm indifferent, <laughs> I'm indifferent mm -hmm. but it's just it's the way it is. Mm -hmm. But I have learned how to stop expecting what I do and how I respond and how I act from my friends yeah. because it takes all of us and all of our differences and different thinkings and different methods and everything to make the world what it mm -hmm. is. When then people at different levels and places in their life, because I'm – first to say everybody's doing the best they can. Mm -hmm. And you are, for right now, you're doing the very best you can for the situation you are mm -hmm. in with what you have. And like you said, they haven't had the same life experiences that you have right. to be a giver. Mm -hmm. They weren't raised with Sarge and Mom Rose. Uh, they don't right. know, you know, some of the lessons right. that you learned through correct, them. Correct. And everybody's different. Everybody yeah. wasn't raised. That, that did no, help me. It did. And that helped me too. I mean, because yeah. Doing the best you can. <laughs> that's, I mean, really. that's the lesson that's I, I have to learn. I think every 10 years I have to learn yeah. that lesson. Because, like you said, loving hard yeah. will get you there. It will. I'm right. learning, though. Yeah. But then, here's my thing I'm never going to quit loving hard. No. I don't care. No. I'm me either. Other people I'm doing. not. Because they're doing the best they can. But it's not about the loving, it's the mm -hmm. expectation. Correct, yeah. correct. That's Absolutely. what I had to change. Okay. Oh, okay. I had to change the expectation, what I expected mm -hmm. them. So that's why it says stop 
expecting you from other, other people. people. Okay. So I'm going to stop thinking that Lisa's going to respond how Derek feels like she should respond. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to let you be you. Okay. I'm gonna still going to love hard and I'm mm -hmm. still going to love you, but I'm going to quit tripping when okay. you don't give me what I feel like you should. Correct. Now, mm -hmm. if you hurt me, that's, that's different. Okay. But if you okay. just not loving me to the level I feel like you should, that's a whole nother mm -hmm. thing. Okay. Okay? okay? So, look, we out of town. Ah. <laughs> well, that was I a mean, good one. We was. are out of time. But look, check this out. Last point I want to make, I have to let you have quick last words and we'll pray and we're out. But I will say this to be intentional because the way life is set up now after this pandemic, going through this pandemic, people voting, not voting, opinions, growing up, different things, people saying the church is not what it used to be. Mm -hmm. All these things that we're dealing with, and we're in the midst of chaos. Mm -hmm. And you wonder, how can you have peace? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Your peace is your responsibility because our God can give you peace. Mm -hmm. No matter what's going on around you, if we learn how to look up, that's where our peace is. Don't look around, you'll be depressed. You know, you look down, you'll be stressed. Mm -hmm. But if you look up, you will be blessed. Mm -hmm. You will be. Keep your eyes on the Lord. Just like Peter started to sink when he took his eyes off Jesus. But when he looked at him again, he was come straight. On, come on. Stop focusing on stuff that you can't control and give it to the man that can control all. If he can control the seas, he can control mm -hmm. your situation. I promise you. Look to the Lord. Last words. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to say um, I love that verse. Cast your Cast all your cares on yes. him, for he cares for, for you. you. That's it. And that's, that's it. it. And I will never forget, quick story, a couple of years ago, you all know I had a beloved cat named Garfield. Yeah. And he died, and I was, I'm talking about supremely sad. I could have called down here to the church to demand a repast. It's how <laughs> sad I was about my cat. And one of my dear, dear friends, um, she's Holy Ghost sanctified, and I was kind of ashamed or embarrassed mm -hmm. that I was grieving the way that I did right. over my cat because I felt like she was going to judge me. Like, girl, right, right. people's out here, and she had lost her, she's lost both of her parents. And I said, I can't be calling right. her complaining about Your losing cat. my cat, and she don't have a mom or her daddy, and, you know, they're gone on to be with the Lord. And I called her. And just so happened, I started crying. Didn't mean to start crying. But you did. And, but I did. And I said, sister, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And she said, you don't have to, um, you don't have to apologize. And I'm going to pray for you because God is concerned about anything now. you're concerned that's about. Right. That's, that's it. And that's it. And when she told me that, it was a burden. She made room for me. Yes. And that just reemphasizes what it says. Cast all your cares on him, for he cares for you. Yep. He don't, it's all that other stuff, you're not, the, he cares about you. So he is concerned about what, what you're you concerned, concerned about. about. Absolutely. And that right there is some peace yes, within it itself. So that's what I like. Cast all your cares, your cat, now. your mother, your father, mm -hmm. society, yeah. all of your, your children, your future, salvation. Everything. Honey, all you care, because he cares for you. Absolutely. Amen. Well, ain't nothing else to say. I mean, <laughs> Ebony just preached in a minute. That's <laughs> what's up. So we have a word of prayer. But again, your peace is your responsibility. Yes. Remember that. Mm -hmm. Peace is your responsibility, and you can have peace if you seek the Lord. Mm -hmm. He can give you that. Amen. Father God, thank you for your peace. Thank you, God. Thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. Thank you for your peace that calm storms mm -hmm. in our lives, calm storms in our minds, in our hearts, in our souls, in our spirits, calm storms on our jobs, yes, calm God. storms in our families. Mm -hmm. God, thank you for your peace that yes. surpasses everything that yes. we could ever think or imagine. Mm -hmm. So God, if you would just give us your peace mm -hmm. on today, God, no matter whatever's going on with anybody who's watching this that had a bad report, mm -hmm. had something going on, uh, may have been told something they did not want to hear. But, God, if you would just give them oh, yeah. your peace, God. Mm -hmm. God, we thank you and thank we praise you, you. We lift you up and we magnify your name. And we thank you for seeing about us. Thank we you. don't have enough sense to see about ourselves, yeah. God. We thank you. We praise you. We lift you up and we magnify your name. In Christ Jesus' name, we'll be forever careful to give your name all the glory, all the honor, and praise that you are more than due. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for joining Let's Wrap. Join us next time.